Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your AMD graphics for better performance and FPS in Fortnite. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be covering all of the best AMD Radeon software settings as well as the best windows and game settings and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. is heading over to the AMD drivers support page and downloading the latest Windows drivers for your AMD GPU. Once you have downloaded and installed it up, right click on any empty area of your desktop and then click on AMD software adrenaline edition. Once it opens up, what you guys have to do is ensure that you are always using the latest version and the status is up to date. After that, head over to the gaming tab and over here select Fortnite in this list. Scroll a bit down and you'll find Radeon Super Resolution. Simply set this thing to disabled. AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1. Set this thing to off. Radeon Anti-Lag. Turn this thing on. Radeon Boost, Radeon Chill, Image Sharpening and Enhanced Sync should be turned off. After that, click on the Advanced button over here and scroll a bit down. For anti-aliasing, go with Use Application Settings and anti-aliasing method, go with Multi Sampling. Ensure that Morphological anti-aliasing is turned off and Anisotropic filtering is turned on. For the filtering level, you guys can go with 2x or 4x. Both of them works absolutely crystal clear and fine in the game. For texture filtering quality, select Performance and then Surface Format Optimization. You guys can turn this thing on and check if it gives you better FPS. If it does not, you guys can turn this thing off again. Tessellation mode should be AMD optimized and OpenGL triple buffering should be turned off. On the right hand side, you'll find your display. For the scaling mode, go with global setting default and an integer scaling should be set to global setting default over here. AMD Ifinity should be turned off and custom color should be turned on. Scroll a bit down until you find saturation over here and set your saturation a little bit higher. I would recommend you guys to set it to 120 so you guys can boost the colors to optimize and improve the visibility in the games. This will not impact your FPS. Then for display color enhancement, go with disabled and color deficiency correction, go with use global settings. Once that is done, head over to the record and stream settings and then click on settings. Ensure that all three of these options are turned off and you're not recording any of your gameplay. Also, under the media tab, ensure that the instant replay is turned off. Then head over to the performance tab and then head over to tuning. Scroll all the way down and ensure that the AMD smart access memory is set to enabled. If this is not enabled, you have to enable resizable bar from your BIOS. Once that is done, head over to the settings button over here and then go down to display. Over here, for the color depth, go with the highest available for your monitor. This will ensure better colors and better visibility, deeper darks and accurate colors. After that, click on the overrides button and then for the HDCP support, set this thing to disabled. Once that is done, simply close this software. Okay, the next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency and input delay using Gear Booster. I have left a direct download link to Gear Booster right in the description below. You guys can come here and download it for free. Once you open it up, it should look like this and it offers over 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for Fortnite in this search button and it will select your game right over here. Click on boost button and this will help you to one click connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance that will help you to boost your FPS as well as fix all of your packet loss, ping issues and other network issues. The best thing you can do over here is select your custom region and node. Select on auto server and then choose the nearest region to you. For me it would be in Asia so simply click on confirm. And now for the node you guys can click on auto node and then go for the server which shows you the lowest amount of ping. For me that would be Singapore over here which gives me 88 milliseconds of ping. So I'm gonna be selecting that and then click on the confirm button. Then click on confirm once again and this will help me to tunnel my internet connection straight to the game servers without any hindrance. The best part about gear booster is click on this burger icon and then go over to settings. Then optimize settings and over here click on optimize RAM after boosting which will help you to free up your RAM and use it for gaming. Once again gear booster is a sure shot method to fix all of your network issues and I have used it myself. I have left a direct download link right in the description below so you guys can go check out gear booster. Next step is the best windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here come down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off 
Since it is an overlay service, disabling that will help you to optimize your FPS in the games. Then go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, allowing you to get better performance. Click on the graphics button right beneath that and enable optimizations for windowed games. Click on advanced graphics settings and then for the default high performance GPU, select your dedicated graphics card. After that, click on add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of Fortnite. It should be right in the Epic Games folder. Head over to Fortnite game, binaries, win64 and then select the win64shipping.exe. Click on the add button and if that is already added, scroll a bit down to find it. Select it and then for the GPU preference, ensure that you're using high performance over here. Optimizations for windowed games should be turned on for this as well. And once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is creating a restore point and for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then select your local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Fortnite just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, simply close it and then head over to the next step. Download Fortnite AMD Optimization Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Simply open it up and you'll find in four very simple folders. The first one is Fortnite Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs along with your GPU in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Second folder consists of CMD latency tweaks which helps you to disable memory compression and reduce input latency. Ensure that you right click and run both of them as administrator and this will run a few commands on your PC which will be executed automatically without having to do it manually. You can edit it in notepad to see what are the commands that it is going to change and both of them will help you to get rid of input latency. The third folder over here will help you to improve your AMD GPU and its performance. It disables GPU energy driver, power throttling and prioritize your dedicated graphic card over your CPU based graphics. Run all three of them by double clicking on them and then head over to the fourth folder which is Windows Optimization Tweaks. In here I have left three different registry files that will help you to disable DVR and enhance your power efficiency. Run all three of them by double clicking on them and then simply close this folder. Once all of that is done, restart your PC and drop into the game for the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, what you have to do is head over to settings and then in order to achieve maximum FPS, I would recommend you guys to set your frame rate limit to unlimited and your rendering mode to performance lower graphical fidelity. This will ensure that you get the maximum performance out of your PC by lightening the load on your CPU as well as your GPU. Under the graphic settings, there's not much to do, so we're gonna head down to graphics quality. Over here, you'll find 3D resolution. If you guys have a super low end PC, go with 85 to 90%. It will give you significant FPS boost. And make sure that your Nanite virtualized geometry is turned off. View distance is set to medium. Textures is set to low or medium. Both of them works absolutely fine. And meshes should be set to low. Then for the advanced graphics, make sure that your show FPS meter is turned on so you guys can see the real time FPS changes and that should be it. Click on the apply button and then head down to the sound quality and over here make sure that your sound quality is set to low. This impacts your FPS a ton and if it is set to high, high chances are that you're gonna be losing FPS. So set this thing to low and then click on apply, close it and now restart your game once. And you guys can enjoy a maximum FPS in the game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.